And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. I've actually figured out the bunny puzzle. And it involves grabbing two boxes, but not in the way you think it does. Of course you cannot just grab a box, go to the place, come back and grab another box. Um, that doesn't work. You actually have to use the box at the vulture place before another box gets spawned, so to say. But what you can do is you can actually grab, you can physically grab the individual bunnies and keep them in, the, in your inventory. And in this way, um, you can actually, yeah, have more bunnies. <clears throat> So I'm going to place the box. Then I'm going to quickly grab as many bunnies as I can. Before they explode. I think I even might be able to grab all of them. No, there's still one struggler. Okay. Now I have all these bunnies. Um, now I can go back and grab another box. And with two boxes worth of bunnies, I should be able to get past this minefield. It's kind of silly. Um, yeah, but I suppose... It's a puzzle, so take this second box, go back to the vulture place, and then hopefully, um, yeah, it passes minefields. And more, more Wagner. Da, 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 da. Reminds me of um, the game Simcopter, which is a game um, in which you control a helicopter and have to fly various missions. Um, I think mostly involving firefighting. It was kind of a weird game, but I rem uh, remember playing this game for hours and hours. And the only song that. Uh, the one song that kept repeatedly looping was this uh, Ride of the Valkyrie from Wagner. Which actually is not called Ride of the Valkyrie, no. but. Just a the theme. It plays in various. Uh, I don't want to. Appears in various places of the ring. Da, da, da. Don't think so. Yeah, it's always played when. Um, Uh, I forgot her name, actually, so... Yeah, anyway. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack them up! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Malcolm wants... Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Hmm.
I think we should go for this option. Your father. I said shut up about my dad. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, I kind of don't think it. So we, we sh shouldn't talk about their father, but I wonder whether she actually minds when we mention him by his last name. But that's fine, anyway. Corley and I. I said, shut up about my dad. Oh, oh, no. Um. I'm losing my temper, Maureen. Hey, you're about to lose much more. Mm, bad decision. Okay, let's say. There. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Okay, that's, that doesn't impress her. Um, could threaten her. Let me go, or else. Or else what? I call you. <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. <laughs> I'll get blood all over your driveway. I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Hmm, not quite. <laughs> hmm. Let me go, or else... Or else what? Okay, I'm going to sick the polecats on you. I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. You put them there, remember? Hmm. Let me go, or else. Or else what? I wonder, do we? We don't have access to our inventory. Hmm. I'll call you names. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Ah. Okay. That's the solution. Diaper Dynamo. How? Where'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Berger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna <laughs> get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So. No shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripberger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. <laughs> when your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. 
Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motor Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Doreen Schmorley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Sick em. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Try and get away now, bicycle boy. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin! Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Oh, I'm actually in control. Oh, so yeah. Um, and I didn't pay attention. Which car is actually Mo's car? Which is kind of silly. Um, I thought this was just one long cutscene. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. Yeah, and the controls. Uh, what are you doing? Get <laughs> over here and nail me! Um, that was kind of sexual, wasn't it? I'm actually having trouble figuring out the control scheme. So... Uh... Careful, careful. Okay, where is she, actually? Ben, I can't avoid these other cars forever. I don't know which, which car you have. Uh, I think she was. Okay, I suppose she's in the green car, maybe? Uh, no. That car stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Okay, um, maybe the yellow car? Um, Kind of hard to avoid this new car because, um, yeah, can't see him. He's off the screen, obviously, and then it makes it a little hard to avoid him. Um, okay, it must be the, the yellow car then. Okay, uh, I mean, Marine must be the yellow car.
but these controls are absolutely horrible. Clearly cheating. Just can't get past this blue car. I guess that's the idea. Okay, this could take a while. I have to lure them over. This is impossible. Can we? Oh, we can actually control the keyboard. Uh, the keys also. This makes it much more man manageable. Ah. They're not in control now. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks and there's one uh, picture of Sam from Sam and Max. Yeah, if you play this game, use the don't use the mouse controls. Oh, now the control. We need more distraction. Um, okay. We need more fire, clearly. I think that's enough distraction. Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. Uh-oh. Are we not... Are we in control? <laughs> Look at him run. Uh, you already said that. Are we... In Are we in control? Somewhat. Uh... What am I supposed to do here? Um, can't jump off. Well, I can actually. Maybe I should. Oh. Hmm. 
So I was supposed to wait until he ramps into... He's just going in circles. Um, can we leave? Going into the inventory, we can go into the inventory actually. Um, can we use the bodies? No, we can't. Can't use any of the bodies. Um, Finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. <laughs> and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. <laughs> hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. Okay, what key are you actually talking about? What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. Hmm. Why is the safe so important? What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. Oh, okay. Um... And I think when we'll come back, folks, yeah. We will continue with this game. Okay, this sounded completely awkward. Anyway, so until next time, folks, until then.